all right hello my beautiful and handsome viewers all over the world welcome to my page timo starboy reality talk tv yeah i greet you at your location time good morning good afternoon good evening and for those people who are already sleeping good night yeah happy week to you guys over there i hope you guys are enjoying your life anyway let's get into it as you can see the title of today's program Peter will be, they say he's just fooling around. He can never be the president of Nigeria. So many people are saying that. Even Igbo, even, even Igbo peoples, the Afra peoples, they say they don't believe in obi, obedient. Uh, so we are about to play you some videos now to hear from the source, you know. There is a complaint, there is a agitating, and every sort of things like that. They say Obi should go and sit down. He's just wasting the time fooling around the state, you know, campaigning, you know. So he can never win the presidency of Nigeria. His time is over, his time is passed. He has blown his chance, you know. He has a one chance and he has blown it. So let me bring you the uh, video. Don't let me uh, talk too much on it. So don't let us waste time. So here we are. Let me take you there. Yeah, let me take you on a, on a long journey. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Okay. Okay, here's the video. So I will play you the video so you can hear from the Igbo people, the engineers of Biafra, whereby they talk about Obi, Obi Dati movement and all these sort of things, you know, what is, is going through and uh, what is is roaming about for, you know, for the powers who belongs to him. They say he's just playing a, a, a joker card and it can never, it can never win. So let me take you there. Stay with us. Going uh, to campaign in the North, probably because of his next uh, bid for presidency. Is What's your take? My stake is Peter B will never be a president of Nigeria. Can you hear that? Wait, is that a prayer or a fact? Can you hear that? It's my prayer and it's fact. It's a prayer. It's, it's my prayer. prayer. Igbo, that an Igbo man will not rule Nigeria. I say Igbo man will not rule Nigeria. Uh -huh. That's what we're saying. Even my father will not rule Nigeria. That's what Even we're I today, If I come today, contesting, I will not rule Nigeria, I will lose. <laughs> It's critical. You know what I'm telling you? Why? It's so critical. What is Lara standing you know? for? After the war, Igbo people have no chance in Nigeria. So in the one regime, it's just, uh, Naira was changed. I mean, pounds were changed to Naira. They should defend their country. In the same one regime, we have census after the war, 1973. In the same one regime, we change from left hand to right hand driving, 1973. Sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. What is the of play, Naira? Please, guys, share this program. Never allow Ubo Very important. again. That's mean of Naira. That Naira is abbreviation. That Naira is abbreviation. Never allow Ubo rule again. Then Kobo. Kobo is abbreviation. Kill Ojuku before others. Mm. Kill Ojuku before others. <laughs> Where did you get the abbreviation from? Where did I get it from? Kill Ojuku Do you think there will be a smoke others. without fire? Uh -huh. Do you think there will be a smoke without fire? Even Most Kobo. of the Igbo presidents that managed to reach Asimov seat, they saw it. Please share the program. Please. Share it. It's very interesting. So if you want dragging to be president of Nigeria's life, because if Igbo will be the president, Zik was the president of Nigeria. Zik was president. Zik wasn't the president. Why is his portfolio as a president? <laughs> president without portfolio. Yeah. President without authority. Mm -hmm. Because he labored so much for Nigeria independence. They robbed him to be a prime minister. But Let's listen to this part again. Rule again. Then Kobo. Kobo is abbreviation. Kill Ojuku before others. Kill Ojuku before others. Kill Ojuku before others. Where did you get the abbreviation for the Kobo? Hey. Where did that get it from? Hmm? 
Do you think there will be a smoke without a fire? No, not at all. Do you think there will be a smoke without fire? Most of the this is presidents very interesting. More, uh, have managed to reach a smoke it. They saw it. Very, very interesting. Yeah, they saw it. Um, if more people so say if we, be, the of we never be the president of Nigeria. In fact, if more people can never be the president of Nigeria. That's what they are saying now. Zik was president. Zik wasn't the president. Why is it his portfolio as a president? President with that portfolio. It's president nonsense. without authority. It's nonsense. Because he labored it's, it's so nonsense. much for Nigeria independence. They robbed him to be a prime minister. But British government must imagine it. They give a prime minister. And take that uh, so called president without the portfolio. From Pasek to see. The new governor general uh, uh, uniform and parade himself on a on a on a jeep and top president. Is he elected president? <laughs> is he elected president? No. Appointed. What mark do you have with the government? Afawa Balewa was elected civilian prime minister with authority. After him, Chebu Shagare, 1979. A letter president. No doubt. The executive president of authority. After that, Shonekong was appointed and recognized. Shonekong. Three months president of Nigeria. That is Shonekong. After Yoruba. that, Obasanjo. <laughs> 1979. Obasanjo is half Nigeria. A letter president of Nigeria. Elected. It's only good luck. Managed to be from our side, managed to be elected president in 2007. Is good luck an Igbo man? It's Good luck is an Igbo man. Forget the language. Or a Biafra. He is Igbo man, is a Biafra. Biafra is Igbo man, Igbo man is a Biafra. A job is a Igbo man, Igbo man is a job. Igbo man is a Biafra. The video is Igbo man. Igbo man is Igbo. We are their fans. Ishakiri is Igbo man. Igbo man is Ishakiri. We are their fans. So what you are saying? Igbo, Igbo, Igbo man. Igbo man is Igbo. We are their fans. Ishan is Igbo man. Igbo man is Ishan. We are their fans. Ishan in the North State. In the North State, we are their fans. Awuchi is Igbo man. Igbo man is Awuchi. We are their friends. A gala is Igbo man. Igbo man is a gala. We are their friends. All of us are their friends. Mm. Idoma is, is Igbo man. Igbo man is Idoma. We are their friends. Ogoja is Igbo man. Igbo man is Ogoja. We are their friends. Don't divide us. Ikwere. Ikwere, oh, what are you saying? Ikwere is a typical core Igbo man. And Igbo man is a core typical Ikwere man. Are you Maybe hearing the divide history? Us. Divide the rule that British teach them. Are you hearing happens, history? That is nonsense. Yeah. yeah that's okay. As, as I the Kubo is an Igbo man. He's an Igbo man. Don't you hear his confession recently? That he's an Igbo man. Don't you hear his confession recently? When he was, uh, he was speaking against the Igbos. Don't mind him. Also, for that reason, he's a boss. The run that he's running forward, that he's not running back. Remembering his own. Because the peace is getting tough. With him, with him and Nigeria. It's getting tough now. <laughs> like we can oh, 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 oh. tomorrow we can be there's no more Nigeria. Tomorrow is a good man. Wait. You think I said you go man. Look me what I see. When the game gets tough, they tell themselves to go man. They realize where they come from. So Peter B will never be a president of Nigeria. Me too, I doubt it. Be a president of Nigeria. That's a good luck, you it's a mistake. Who they regretted it? That's why they shook him off out of office in 2014. They regretted it and shook him off out of the office. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Igbo people can never be. Igbo people can never be the president of Nigeria. You know this is true. This is the fact. So they should know where they should belong and uh, what are they, they are doing. You know for their self 
proclamation for their self determination, you know. So they should know the point they have, not that they will be deceiving themselves. So now you are hearing it live and direct from this um, interview from our brothers uh, from Igbo land, you know, saying that Peter Obi, you are just wasting your time. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. So let me continue playing the video. He marry Fun and the family marry him as long as they like. People will never be a president. Because if people will be a president, people will be a president. But look at it. In every election in Nigeria, people will always come for it. 1979 election, Sipu was stopped. Allah was stopped. 1983 election, Sipu was stopped. Allah was stopped. Even the Tutu Kama Man Tutu Kama Man Tutu Kama Man Tutu Kama Man the history of and, uh, 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 government ship in Nigeria. No, to take the lead. What are you saying? Mm -hmm. What's the thing? Will be again. Will be again. This is another will man. Will be again. You see? We gave him every man. chance since last year. He needed. Yoruba gave him the chances. And Our Yoruba brothers voted will be. They did well. Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. brothers in the north, call north, northwest, northeast, voted will be. They did well. But See, let me tell you, the people, okay, man, they they say, everybody in the south of Nigeria, they voted a lot. Overwhelmingly for Labour Party. Will be fly, flies Labour Party's flag. Mm. They all accepted him. They gave him this mandate to be Nigerian president last year. And then what happened? Someone came and hijacked that mandate. He stole it. They stole it. By the whole judiciary, whatever. They stole the mandate, but Obi didn't do any action. There is no action place anywhere. It never take place. He's supposed to reclaim his mandate back. But due to the lack of, uh, I don't know, maybe just uh, behavior like a, like a woman, you know, saying that uh, he will take law into, into the course. He will let the, uh, the law take its own course. And whereby Nigeria is a lawless country, it has no law. So that is how he mess up, you know, he miss everything totally. So another another person take off uh, from him. So now the chance is, is not there anymore. There's no second chance for him. So that is what they are saying now. Say, Obi, go and sit down. It's not your turn again. And Nigeria must break up. Nigeria, either they like it or not. Nigeria must break up. It's already in a, a peak of breaking up, you know, because 20, 2027 is not sure. 2027 is not sure. No guarantee. No guarantee whether not before then Nigeria will survive. Because as things is going on now, you know, there's no, the, everything is just downfall, you know. I'm telling you categorically, I'm telling you with the experience I have. With the vision I have for Nigeria, it will never restore You know, it's already dead. Read my lips. Dead. It's dead. It's gone. So, let's continue the video. We are talking from our experience and for what God has been showing us, you know, through the spirituality, you know, in the life. So, when we say something, we know it's going to happen. When we reveal you something, we know definitely it's going to happen. So, prepare. Nigeria is at the peak of breaking up. So, we are no, no more one Nigeria. So, anybody is still thinking that one Nigeria, he just, uh, his brain is uh, diluted, you know? His brain is no more functioning. So, let's continue the video. Go on, so. Departments. You know, judges supported him. He used his money by Porta Inek. The Porta Inek and Inek did not see anything good on allowing allowing Nigeria to enjoy the mandate they gave to be. That's the dividend of democracy. And today, Inek is laughing at us. <laughs> and Nigerian youths are crying and of shouting. Of course, I can only tell you, Obi is going to not because, yeah, you are Mumu. campaigning, giving them money, you feeding them Mumu. to vote for him. Obi to remember that he's not a Muslim. Mm. Everything about not is all about a man. Yeah, the fat, yeah, Al -fat. Yeah, the fat. Yeah. Arabic, Al-Quran, mosque, mosque, everywhere. Point. And you 
an Igbo man that is a Christian, you are going to not campaign it, telling them to vote for you. See, the Northerners are religious backdrops. People that are believe on the... Obi campaigner can hear this one. Obi is not a Northerner. It's not a Muslim. They know what they are doing. Muslim, Muslim ticket. So, forget about it. You are not a Muslim. You are not part of them. Just go and defend Igbo land. Go and defend Biafra. You can be the president of Biafra. So go and set up that one. You know, to have a uh, uh, place, uh, I don't know, uh, template. Just have a template for them. You know, have a plan for Igbo land. Don't go to North and give them ball, yeah, yeah, ball ho again. You know, it doesn't work out. You are just wasting your time and you are wasting your money and resources. So this is what they are telling you. This is the fat point they are making here. So, please share it to be share it to obedient obedient people be that it. Let them hear. Let them hear the confirmation here. So I will continue playing the video. Methods of man to talk or communicate with God. That is religion. They don't believe on anything. Mm -hmm. God, because God Himself is not religious. God come down from heaven and made way for you to understand Him on vigilities and techniques to worship God. Oga, Obi, let me tell you, you can't get it right with the people of different whose religion is different from you. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, campaigning in the north is a waste of energy. Why? The one we voted for you, you did not react when it was snatched by some political vagabonds. <laughs> Who snatched mandate that the whole Nigerians gave you? What did you do? You back down, you tell the youth to wait, and they wait, and they are still waiting today. Do you think we are going to wait again for you in 2027? Never. So that if after voting for you, you will stay. iPhone hacks you didn't know about. If you get this message on your phone... Sorry, you guys. Do what? Calm the youth down to wait and wait. And Nigerian youth will continue waiting. <laughs> I don't agree with you again, wait, Obi. Wait so let me bed. tell you, if you look all over social media, you find out that I campaigned, I campaigned, I campaigned, wait I campaigned for you. But this time around, I found out that you 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 disappointed yeah. last year. You should have just go into the jail by yourself. You should have attacked federal government, cause commotion in Nigeria, uh -huh. point hand right in their eyes, the eyes of the man See. that forcefully took away this is the your mandate fast. by this force. Is topic of Said today. no to him. Is the point? Cause trouble, and they would have at least locked you so that that mandate would have been given to you by force. Don't you know? Exactly. You should have caused trouble so that you go to jail. You cannot stay up to one month in jail. The whole Nigeria will come out the and rest out what belongs to the leader that is running to go to jail. The, the, the leader that is running to protect his people, to protect his mandate. And you are saying that he, that kind of leader want to be the president of this corruption country, this contaminated country. Eh? If you are not a rascality man, you cannot be the president of Nigeria. Of Nigeria. You know? 419 country. You cannot be. So you want to claim that you are saint and you are law abiding, you know? And uh, you want to be their ruler. You want to be the president of Nigeria. Fa 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 fa. You are out of the line, you know? Your penalty is over the bar. You understand? You have to be the you have to be corrupted like them, like all these uh, former president, before you can tackle the 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 the, the, uh, the your area, you know. So if you don't, if you are saying that you want to be a uh, new Nigeria, it can never work. There is no new Nigeria. Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. You know. Everybody has wise up. Don't be naive. There is no one Nigeria. There has never be. The Nigeria is collapsed. It's dead. The only option, option now, the only option we get now is to divide accordingly, you know. Yoruba go. Yibo go. Awusa go. Everybody. Ishekiri, Bogo, you know, all those area, You know, middle bed. If they want to go, let them go. So everybody will, will be on their lane. You know? They will be on their lane. You cannot run to another lane. That is uh, 
you know, is against the rule. So, this is what we are saying. So, 20, 2027 is not, there's no assurance. Because, number one, let me give you number one, uh, the statistics, you know. Number one, Tunumbu will like to retain the seat. We we'll like to maybe, if uh, maybe God give him the health, you know, or give, give him the life uh, spam, you know, maybe increase his age, you know, his healthy. He will like to increase his own term to be another four years, you know, to complete the eight term, you know, eight years in, in, in the rule, you know, as uh, Buari did, his uh, predecessor, you know, and uh, his uh, boss. And his uh, cohorts, you know, so he will like to complete his own term too. You understand? Are you getting me? So, and you people, you are saying that 2027, 2027 is assurance for a Labour Party. Atiku is saying his own Atiku side, you know. So this one is going to be a collision, and it's going to be a, a chaotic. It's going to be a war between the three parties you know it will be a war between labor party uh, apc pdp so and in as much as uh what is uh, what is uh, this man name um uh i neck uh, this in yakub in as much as yakub is still there is still a chairman of the i neck forget about it the the history will repeat itself. I'm just analyzing everything, you know, just for you guys to understand. So there, where that uh, the commotion we came in, that is where the problem we we just rise up, because they will not give any any chance for nonsense again. So, uh, Yakub want to be defending Tunumbu as a APC candidate, you know, as their group member. And uh, Peter will be, they will be uh, unless maybe Peter will be, will still repeat uh, his own foolishness. That okay, let's do let's do it according to the law. But I know for sure one thing: PDP will never agree. Atiku uh, fashion, Atiku uh, uh, curriculum, Atiku group, they will not ever agree. You know, so this thing is going to place out to be. A chaotic, you know, a big, a big war among them. So forget about 2027; it will never happen. Me, I've predicted it and I've seen it. God has shown me. Before then, there will be a calamity. You know, there will be some kind of a wave of, a, you know, a trouble. You know, so. In other, in other words, in the short uh, words, let's just say, as this thing is coming up, to prevent it is to just destabilize the whole system in Nigeria. This is their constitution first. And make our own region secure by ourselves. It is the only way we can secure our region. Am I talking sense here? Maybe some people, they don't grab my point, you know. I know some people they are, you know, this or this is not a, a entertainer for woman or all those things, you know, like a strippers, you know. So anyway, me, I just have this one for you. I have this one for you in the future that 2027 will be hottest one, you know. So just let us prepared. You give me the okay. Okay, one of my brother. So that is it for today. So that is it for today, you know. I hope you learned something. You grab something, you know. You grab something from this our program. I believe you are you are with us, you know. So if you are with us, give us thumb up, share this program, let it go viral, you know. Let it reach every corner of the country, you know. Let them hear it that 2027 no assurance no assurance you know and ob should go and sit down he say it's his turn yeah he's the one next to a president go and sit down my friend they never they can never give it to uh, Igbo people 
you know, all these uh, cabal, these uh, Mietiala people, they will never, never open their eyes and give it to Igbo people. Just read my lip. So, thanks for today. I will close up today. So, next time, I will bring you more interesting uh, updates, you know. So, this is what uh, our job, you know, as a blogger, as a news uh, carrier, you know. So, please support us on our, on our show. So, God will bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye.